Hey, hey guys, good morning. Welcome to the But First Coffee Wake Up Call. If you're watching the replay, thanks for listening. So today we're gonna talk about um, letting yourself be happy. And this is important because uh, we need to increase the amount of happiness we have in our life. We need to take more time to be happy, do things that make us happy, um, really recharge and refuel ourselves from some of the things that we do in life that are a little draining and not so enjoyable. So. A lot of times what happens is we'll do something that like we'll feel good or something will happen and we want to celebrate. Uh, you know, you'll get a promotion or you you know, the, the girl you like says yes when you ask her out for pizza. And um, you know, we have these things that happen that make us feel really good, but we cut ourselves short and we cut our happiness off at a certain point because it's like, it's kind of like, oh, well, we got to get back to work. Or uh, we believe that, well, if I get too happy, then something bad's going to happen. Or I'm not allowed to be that happy because, um, you know, there are people suffering in the world. Um, you know, we really find any belief and excuse that we can to really stop ourselves from feeling happy for an extended period of time. We don't let ourselves fully build on feeling good. We don't let ourselves really, like, build that happiness within us and let it course through us. When we feel good about something... We like, let's say you wake up in the morning and you feel good. You, you like, you got enough sleep. You wake up before your alarm. You're just kind of in a happy mood, right? Well, instead of like getting out of bed and getting up into the drudgery of things and going right into your routine right away, why not take a few minutes to really let yourself feel happy and feel good, right? Spend five minutes or even just two minutes and let yourself feel good in that moment. Don't think about the things you have to do that day. Don't think about the responsibilities you're going to have to do, the bills you're going to have to pay, the meetings you have, um, the things you didn't do yesterday, the mistakes you made in your past. Allow yourself to feel good in that moment and fully like make it more, make it happier. For some reason as a society in our, in our country, for sure, we have this belief that we shouldn't feel good all the time. We shouldn't be happy. It's not possible to be happy all the time. It's not something that we should do because, you know, something bad is bound to happen and life is tough and, um, you know, life isn't fair or, uh, you know, you've, you've got this like belief that you're not allowed to feel happier than your, your kids or your husband or the other people around you and you shouldn't express it because that's going to make people around you feel bad. And, we have all these weird reasons when you really get down to it, why we cut ourselves short from feeling happy. But so the next time that you have something happen that feels good to you, here's what I want you to do. Okay. Pay attention to the thoughts that come into your head when you're feeling good. So let's say you got good news about a family member. You got a promotion. Um, you wake up feeling good in the morning. You are celebrating because you got your first client or you got another client or you, uh, your kids did something great at sports or your marriage is feeling really good or whatever is causing you to be happy. Take a minute and just let yourself sit and be happy. Let it build, fully feel where it is in your body, what it feels like to be happy and excited before you let thoughts of, oh, but I got to go do that. I got to do this. It's going to do that. What about that? That happens. What if this happens? And we really start to kind of self-sabotage and let ourselves kind of come back down rather than building ourselves back up to feel happier and better. So let yourself feel happy. It's okay to be happy. If you being happy doesn't take happiness out of the world and take it from somebody else. You being happy doesn't mean that you know, you're know you above everybody else or better than everybody else. Being happy is what we need more of in this world. So share it, celebrate it, be happy. Allow yourself to celebrate and don't really give a rip if it's gonna make somebody next to you uncomfortable because you just said something awesome happened in your life. Like pass that feeling on to somebody, make somebody else smile. Um, share what you're excited about, you know, like think about in the movies, okay? Like when, when you watch somebody get proposed to at a restaurant, right? The girl finds the, the ring in her drink or on her plate or the guy gets down on one knee or whatever and she gets so excited and the one that fully lets herself express being happy and excited and in the moment and like everybody stops and looks. There is not a single person, okay, maybe if they got their own issue going on in their own relationship and they're really feeling resentful, but there's not a single person in that restaurant that isn't going to smile for them because they get to celebrate and be happy in that moment. So by you choosing to allow yourself to be happy, allow yourself to stay happy for a minute before you crush it and get back into your day, like let yourself feel it and express it 
and other people around you will be able to feel that too. We have so much negativity in this world. We have so much bad news, so many things that are happening that are bad, but we don't need to focus there. That doesn't mean we ignore them, but we don't need to focus that. We don't need to perpetuate that and share those things. It drives me nuts when somebody shares a Facebook post that their whole post is like, I can't believe this happens in this world. It's so horrible. Or, oh my gosh, this makes me so upset. Then why are you sharing it? Stop sharing the negative things. Allow yourself to be happy and share that. It's okay for you to be happy. Give yourself permission to be happy, to enjoy the things that you want to enjoy, to like the things that you want to like. Don't give a crap what anybody else thinks because by you choosing to make yourself happy, your happiness is going to actually spread into the world and make somebody else happy as well. Because when we're happy, we're nicer to people. We bring this high vibrational energy to our meetings for the day to the interactions we have with people to talking with the barista like you could change somebody's day just by smiling at them because you're feeling good so don't stop yourself short don't crush your happiness with you know the first negative thought of you know oh but what if something bad happens well this is going so good then what's going to be bad today let yourself feel happy enjoy being happy and in that moment and present and let the happiness build within you feel it let it envelop you and enjoy it for a minute let yourself do that it will make you a better person it will make you a better mom a better wife a better employee a better boss a better friend better anything that you want to be because you're allowing yourself to be happy and love the things that you want to love so let yourself be happy today let yourself be happy this weekend enjoy it let it build and spread it out into the world have a great weekend and i'll talk to you on monday